guys. So what is our generation's obsession with zodiac signs? Like for everything that has become the deciding factor whether it's compatibility or even relationships. So today I am going to be reacting to stereotypes and memes about Leos and Sagittarius. So let's go. A stereotype about Sagittarius. Sagittarius are not committed to any relationship. Nobody is committed to any relationship at 21. I can tell you that for sure. And firstly, the reason why they're not committed, let's say, to being in a relationship, is because they haven't found the right person yet. And it's okay because when you're in your early 20s or even let's say mid 20s, it's completely cool to not settle for one person and be like, "मैंने अपने माइंड में तुमसे शादी करनी है तुम भी करो." That is only good in the Javani head Javani and for the rest. But can you really blame a Sagittarian or any person of a random zodiac sign for not being committed to a relationship? It's probably because they're commitment phobic and they will be like that for the rest of their life. So bestie, it's you who needs to move on. So the next one is literally from one of my most favorite series. It's Brooklyn Nine Nine about Gina, the hundred percent emoji form of humans. She's an icon. She's a legend. She's a queen herself. So the tweet says, "God, I miss Gina so much. Nobody in the history, future of pop culture will ever be able to make me relate so hard to them." Left-handed Sagittarius, vlogger, human form of the hundred emoji, born for politics, great hair, not me today. Love lying, constantly telling everyone I'm royalty side. Before I react to this, I just want to compliment how accurately they describe Gina because chef's kisses. And secondly, just because she's Gina does not make her a pure Sagittarius person. Or just because it's a Sagittarius person does not make it Gina. Why are we sort of putting all these qualities like being manipulative, lying, and just putting them in a Sagittarius genre? I get it. Like Gina is a very sassy person, but at the same time, nobody should really base their entire personality on a TV. character or not even on a zodiac sign if somebody is a bitchy person to you it's not because they're a leo or a sagittarian it's probably because they're a bitch sagittarians going towards brutal honesty instead of telling a white lie to save face and let someone down easily i have to be honest this is actually a very nice thing about sagittarians and to let somebody down in a very brutally honest way instead of telling a white lie straight up to their face i think if i could possess that quality not as a sagittarian but also as like even an aquarius person i would still go forward with it also the way these stereotypes have been designed it's like the creator of this meme has just witness one or two three people of the same zodiac sign and they're somehow deciding that okay this person is just going to be brutally honest with you instead of telling you a white lie on your face you cannot just cut people out of your life like they never existed sagittarius or the literally cut them out to be honest that's a very good quality i personally am a very strong believer of cutting people out and i am not a sagittarius person so even if you're not a sagittarian or even a leo and if you think that somebody is toxic in your life besties cut them out that is what live love life and gen z is all about giving your mental health and your boundaries a bigger priority than the people in your life so yeah i think it's pretty cool to cut people out but at the same time there are also a lot of people who will just simply be very princessy and cinderella about you really being a toxic person and they will still not cut you out of their lives the next stereotype is sagittarius are outgoing they love traveling and partying oh <laughs> I like the really odd sound in the air because I relate it so badly. I look like I'm an extrovert person online, but trust me, I'm the biggest introvert out there. I cannot stand straight in a party. I absolutely have to go back home, pet my dog, and just watch Modern Family. But coming back to Sagittarians, I think you know, like somebody like me. Let's say if I were a Sagittarian, and since I am not a very social, outgoing person, if I were put under that much pressure, I think it would build up to so much social anxiety that I would. Act Actually, hate being out of my house since it's Leo season. It's for all the beautiful Leos out there. It's time for you to shine and shut down all those stereotypes. I feel like I'm a politician here. Leo's feelings they're willing to talk about. So true, so hard relate. I don't know. I think it's just something with this generation, and probably not with this generation. I think it's just a lot of people. We bottle our feelings so much and. 
we don't even want to talk about them and it just like piles on piles on piles on and it just comes out as frustration this is me over sharing about my life it's cool if you don't relate i need help so it's probably not just leo's you know it's probably every zodiac sign out there or any person who is not very open with confrontation if you would tell me to go tell a girl who hurt my feelings 5 years ago i would still be very shy i now would still act like a little disney princess around her with puppy eyes because that's the kind of person i am i am so much into people pleasing but yeah it's probably not because there are leo's probably because you know they're going through some stuff and it's always very nice to seek for help even if it's talking to a professional person about it like a therapist or it's just talking to one of your closest friends for me it's always my mom so yeah it's all about finding your tribe of people leos that they are stubborn proud and show off i'm a leo and i differ from this statement honestly that's very harsh to assume things about somebody it sounds like you know a villain story this girl was arrogant honestly harsh, that's mean. honestly that it's actually like regina george from mean girls how she was being described the boss bitch girl of the high school it's it's just like you're already assuming the worst about somebody and then you expect them to be nice to you i know for a fact that for the longest time i was being considered a very intimidating person and i was like listen i'm literally out here acting like a cupcake what's what's the problem here but that's just very wrong of people to assume and sometimes if somebody is setting boundaries if somebody does not want to overshare and if somebody wants to only talk to their bunch of people it's not because they're stubborn or arrogant or proud it's just because they respect their boundaries and they know when to cross them and they know how to stop some somebody who crosses them let's say if a very young adult let's say a teenager is coming across a meme or like a stereotype like this where they get to know that leo's a very cold hearted and arrogant and their minds are so young and they could be easily influenced by just a random thing on the internet that they will read it and make it their entire personality they'll just be like oh i'm a leo i can act this way because i read this thing on the internet or somebody just stated that about me so i think it's really important that we put a stop on deciding whether we can base our entire personality just on a few characters the sticks of a zodiac sign just because some random page on the internet is calling you as bitchy and cold hearted does not mean you also have to act bitchy and cold hearted and blame it on the zodiac sign oh it's because i'm a leo that's some bitchy no you're bitchy because you are bitchy is it true that leos are unlucky in love my friend <laughs> everyone is unlucky in love it is not just leo and i think if you really try and work on a relationship then everyone can be lucky in love see i'm a hardcore believer of shahrukh khan movies and i really believe when he said that rab ne bana di jodi absolutely the epitome of bollywood and i even think that what is meant to happen will happen but at the same time relationships just don't magically happen but i still think that relationships require so 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 much work every single day It's like picking up the blocks and pieces and building them together again equally respectfully and maintaining that stable solid foundation and it's not just you know a monday where you have to do that it's every single day but when you find the person who you're willing to do this with and the person you think is worth all that then trust me you're on the right path so it's not just you who are unlucky in love what if you're the person who's not willing to be open in front of them or what if it's the person who's not willing to be upfront about their emotions and confront their partner or there's some miscommunication then everyone's unlucky in love and finally about the OG influencer Kylie Jenner do you really need an explanation for this one Leo Kylie Jenner is all about being in the spotlight just ask her 185 million instagram followers do you really need an explanation for this first of all i am not a leo but even i would love to have 185 million instagram followers and counting but at the same time i think this is a trait that comes with being a celebrity when you're a celebrity you obviously want to attract a lot of spotlight and attention which makes you do very crazy things like post a picture with your private jet and a boyfriend just to take a route that's probably 40 minutes away by a car but anyway i think She probably did that because she still wants to be relevant but that does not mean that every single Leo out there is chasing the limelight or the spotlight so if you really do believe in these stereotypes and it's probably you who needs to take a step back and look at the holistic picture of it and realize that people are so much more than their zodiac signs or choices of movies or just a random thing that they regret like 2 years ago thank you for watching this and if you like this video 
make sure to check out agni aunt series by ria gogoi where she gives you solutions to life's many 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 problems which trust me all of us can use right now okay bye